Hey guys, Destiny of Watch here, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a badass new auto rifle called the Arcus Regime, which was recently revealed in the latest Destiny drawing board. This weapon is definitely unique and unlike any other weapon we've seen before, so let's take a look. They don't make them like this anymore, said Bungie's art lead Tom Doyle. Consoles of firepower usually have an insatiable appetite for cutting edge technology. This shouldn't mean that there isn't room in your arsenal for a true classic. If you can find an Arcus regime on your adventures, you'll have a trophy to add to your collection, a thing of beauty to lead you into battle. It's a sleek beast from a simpler time, a death dealer wrapped in nostalgia. This rifle provides a look into the recent past of the world of destiny. The regime is a prized heirloom from the Arcus foundry, a one-off design that predates their current reputation for basic, droid-friendly equipment. This bygone standard is described by art lead Tom Doyle as a well-loved weapon that the city keeps in active service. The romantic lines of this elegant design are a throwback to when crafting weapons was a labour of love. In a time when rifles are the product of an arms race, the regime embodies a fond memory of craftsmanship. In its pram, this now exotic firearm set a standard for customization. Compared to its utilitarian successors, the regime can still hold its own. The old beauty will feel like a one of a kind in the hands of a guardian who wields it. When you pop the hood of this classic machine, you'll find plenty of ways to give it a tune-up. Getting sentimental about the Arcus regime does strike a note of irony. It's important to remember, after all, that it's an implement of violence. This auto rifle won't be a conversation piece during chance encounters. Anything on the wrong end of your aim won't be around long enough to reminisce with you. And that, my friends, is the Arcus Regime. Very cool, very futuristic, I like it. Now, if anyone's wondering if I'll be covering any of the Bungie Weekly updates, probably not, because there's never anything really worth mentioning. They do include some interesting concept art, but that's really sort of the most interesting part of it to me. There's never any news or really anything new, so there's no real point and just a waste of time to cover them. But what I might end up doing is some sort of recap of all the updates and just give an overall look at them. But we'll see. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time.